different reasons for holes within the plugs. I'll go over some debugs, some other ones I've seen online which I don't agree with. First one debug, and that is, oh, it saves cost, right? It saves cost uh, in material cost, because you, you don't need material in those holes. Not, not buying that one, uh, because you're gonna need to manufacture these prongs anyways, so the material's gonna be in that prong, and then you'd have to do a process, either a punch or drilling that out to remove that material, then you'd have to collect the small scrap metal, melt that back down, and then reuse that in your process to make more prongs. Uh, there's too many, too many steps in that process, I think, to really save any money. So I don't think it's saving anybody any money to not have material in those holes. Another one was to directly wire to this plug, which I really would not recommend. So they were talking about literally just wiring, uh, open wires to the prongs and powering that power tool or whatever. Please don't do that, that is not, not smart. Another one, which I don't agree with, but I'd be interested to get you guys this feedback, is a area for material. So when you're pressing the plug within let's say pressing it within a receptacle. So we're pressing it in, the wipers or the contacts are pressing on that and you back it out. If there's any additional material or debris, when you're pulling that out, the wipers would push it within the holes and then pull that out of the receptacle. Maybe, maybe that's one, but I really don't think so. So that's it. Hopefully you learned something. Don't forget to let me know if you have any different takes or different information down in the comments, which I really appreciate guys, you giving feedback and being that supportive.